Hi everybody. Hey. I'm Tamlin and this is my son Josh. And we want to make this video for our friends who are doing the Good and the Beautiful Mammal Science Unit. We have some mammals here on our farm and we thought we'd like to share them with you so you can see some of the things that go along with chapters one and two of mammals. So we're gonna bring in our first mammal that we have here on the farm today. And then hopefully in the future we'll make some more videos with some of our other mammals. You might be able to hear her. That's Cinnamon. You wanna let Cinnamon in? You do it. You do it? Okay, you hold the camera. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah, turn it around. Cinnamon. Oops, there you go. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. There's cinnamon. And there's posh. And there's posh. Hmm. These are two of our goats. And as we're doing this video, if you have the good and the beautiful chapters that you have already studied, I want you to listen for any vocabulary words we might say. Okay? So there's we cinnamon. Can we get it on cinnamon? Yeah. Good. So let's get cinnamon to come in to the barn where we are. Cinnamon. You need to stand back so she'll Cinnamon. And that includes all the Cinnamon is a goat. Are you sure yep. it's cinnamon? Cinnamon is a mammal. And you can tell that because she has hair. Or fur. Or hair or fur. Come look at her face. And she eats. <laughs> and she's looking at you. What does she eat? Grain and plants. And what else? What's her favorite thing? <gasps> Animal cookies. Animal cookies. <laughs> so you can tell that she's a mammal because of her hair and her fur. She's got a single jaw. We can't see her brain or inside her ear, but she does have a neocortex and three bones in her middle ear. We had an x-ray, we could see that. And the other thing that's very important about cinnamon is her mammary glands, because she makes milk. Can you see it? Mm, um, it's a little see. bit dark down here. Yeah. So back here, between her back legs, we is got it. cinnamon's mammary gland, <laughs> and we call it an udder. Can you see it? It has two parts, yeah. two sides, a left side and a right side, and two parts that hang down called teats. And the teats is where the milk comes out. Now Cinnamon is a girl. Her breed is Nigerian Dwarf, and that's a dairy breed. So they make a lot of milk, more than their babies need. And so we can take some of that milk and use it for ourselves. Well, actually, we can take all of it. We can take all of it. So Cinnamon, her baby, her baby died, which is really sad. And you see the scar right here, the doctor had to cut the baby out. So she had a C-section. Um, a goat does have a uterus where the baby is born and they can have up to six babies, but they only have one or two placentas. So the babies can share a placenta. That's cool. It is cool. Make sure that you can see her in the camera. And a goat's gestation is 145 days for the small ones like this, which is about five months. So I'm Why watching. Why is she moving hands. that area right there? Well, this side is actually her rumen, where it's part of her her four part stomach, and she's breathing. You can see her breathing. That's cool. It is cool. So I'm washing off her teats and her udder. Make sure it's clean. Yeah, no hair falls in the milk. We don't want any hair falling in the milk or any pine shavings. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze the top of my teat with my fingers and press it out. Did you see that? Yep. I always give out a little bit of milk to start with, and then I get my bowl. Out it's there. easier if, if I change the angle of this. Okay, that's fine. And cinnamon is a very good goat. 
So let me show you how I milk her. Can you see that now? Oh, putting it the wrong part. Now I can. Can you see it? Yep. It took me a long time to learn how to milk with my hands. I squirted myself a lot. And I squirted the floor, I squirted the wall. Wait, really? Yeah, really. That's funny. But now I'm pretty good at it. So a female mammal can make milk when she has a baby. And that's how her body can feed the baby. Wow, that's a lot of milk. Yep, it is. Do you have any questions about goats or other types of mammals that make milk? Mm. Yes. What are your questions? How many um, kittens could a cat have? Oh, I'm not sure. I don't have a lot of experience with kittens, but I think they can have five pretty easily. Maybe six. So cool. Some mammals have more teats, like cats and dogs. They have multiple teats along their underside, so they can feed a lot of babies at once. And felines. Yeah. All felines. That's right. But and canines. She has two teats, so if she has five or six babies, she might need some help from a human to feed those babies from a bottle. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, some of the babies might not get enough milk. If only two can eat at the same time. Wow, that is a lot of milk. <laughs> you see it? So yeah. at, our at our family farm, we use this milk to drink and we make, what do we make? Let's see, ice cream, Yeah. Uh, yogurt, mm -hmm. cheese, that's all I can remember. All that good stuff. So when she gets almost done being milked, she gets a little impatient and I have to watch her so she doesn't step in the milk or kick it over. Because that's sad. If we spill the milk, it's very sad and it makes a big mess. All right, my friends, I think that's about it for today. That is milk from a mammal, from okay. our nice cinnamon. <laughs> Can we all say thank you, cinnamon? Thanks, cinnamon. Thanks, cinnamon. Show her face. Thanks, cinnamon. You're a good girl. Yeah. All right, friends, Where's I hope you enjoy. The... Where's that odd toad ungulate? <laughs> we'll do that in another chapter. We're going to talk about their feet in another chapter. All right. And we're going to talk about cinnamon again in yeah. another chapter. Thanks, cinnamon. Bye-bye.